good fences make good neighbors. When it comes to the back and forth over Arlington County's pickleball noise debate, they might. For months, we've been telling you about the conflict between neighbors who say pickleball is too noisy and players who don't have enough places to play. Tom Fitzgerald's at the Walter Reed Recreation Center tonight with a possible solution and maybe a little check in on his technique. You're not going to get that, I'll promise you that right now. But what you are going to get is a possible solution to this standoff that's been going on about pickleball games in Arlington County. You know what we're talking about. It's that constant the whacking that goes on in these pickleball games. It doesn't just stay on the court. It goes out into the neighborhoods, and those neighbors are not so happy about that at times. It's been a growing problem as the sports popularity has grown, but now Arlington County thinks it might have a solution to all of this. They have announced a brand new $1.5 million refurbishment of the pickleball courts here at the Walter Reed Community Center. Now, this is going to include not only the refurbishing of six courts here, but also they are going to build what they're calling an acoustic fence, which is going to surround the pickleball courts and hopefully hold all that noise in. Now, as you might guess from the past times we've visited these pickleballers in the neighborhoods, not everybody's in agreement about this, but the pickleballers are upset about the fact that they're going to be going from six courts only, and they used to have nine. Arlington County doesn't get it, and what they don't get about it is pickleball, because it was a new sport, it had to be a drop-in sport. You know, you so beginners, you teach them how to play, and that means you have to have multiple courts, as many as you can. I did look at the plan that they had posted on the website, and it looks beautiful. They're going to have six courts here on the other side of the parking lot, but that's actually going to decrease the number of courts here, and I know that a lot of people are not happy about that. Okay, so we want you to take a look at what this is going to be, this acoustic fence. You know, basically they're looking to quiet all these noise complaints. So several companies sell this kind of thing right now. Basically, it's a absorbing mat that goes over a traditional chain link fence. The idea is that the sound goes into that mat and not out into the neighborhood. Arlington County still hasn't chosen exactly which company they're going to go with to install these here at the courts. However, Eric Beach of Park and Recreation tells Fox 5 it has not been an easy process for the county trying to balance the concerns of both the pickleballers and the neighbors trying to uh, find a good solution for accommodating the, the pickleball needs as well as the uh, impact that it has on the neighbors uh, has been challenging. Uh, there's a lot of strong uh, opinions, a lot of strong feelings. Uh, you know, when the proximity of neighbors makes it important to them, uh, the amount of play that happens with pickleball is very important with them as well. Okay, some of the preliminary work on this is going to start in a couple of days. However, the final plan won't be in place until about a year and a half, pushing it to 2025. Meanwhile, Arnton County Vice Chair of the Board, Libby Garvey, has told Fox 5 that they are looking at a plan which could build indoor pickleball courts in now vacant retail and office space. Both a lot of the neighbors and some of the pickleballers have told us that's an idea. Both sides are interested. We're live in Arlington tonight. Send it back into you. All right, that's our Fox 5 Live Instable question tonight. Should more pickleball courts have soundproof walls? So far, 57% of you think they should. Uh, you can vote by scanning the QR code, going to fox5dc.com, or voting in the Fox 5 News app.